Hello, everyone. Thank you for、uh, coming to my presentation. My name is Yifan Wang. I'm a PhD student at Stevens Institute of Technology. Today, I'm going to talk about our work facilitating parallel fuzzing with mutually exclusive task distribution. Um, so, you, you, in recent years, fuzzing has become really popular. It is considered as one of the most effective way in finding the security bugs in software. So, for example, EFL fuzzing has already found thousands of the bugs in open source projects, and because of such、uh, successful attempts, many big firms invest a lot of、uh, computing resources in large-scale parallel fuzzing. However, Most of the parallel fuzzing without elaborated distribution of the workload. This can、uh, lead to different instances to explore、uh, overlapped、uh, code region and reducing the benefit of the concurrency and wasting the computing resources. So we propose a general model to describe the parallel fuzzing, and also guided by this model, we develop a solution called AFL Edge. To improve the parallel mode of AFL, elaborate the workload among the instance, and、uh, enhance the efficiency eventually.、Uh, in this research, we target、uh, gray box of fuzzing, the most popular category of fuzzing. It follows the feedback scheduling mutation. Uh, model and、uh, presents an iterative process, starting with a queue of seed inputs. In a round of the fuzzing, the scheduling picks a seed and feed it back to the mutation、uh, process for deriving the new input to test the target program, expecting to trigger the unhandled crashes or exceptions. Both the scheduling and the mutation process are based on the feedback from the progress ex,、uh, program execution. Also, the fuzzer based on the feedback to decide whether an input under the test should be added to the seed queue or not.、Um, to improve the efficiency of the code coverage, many gray box fuzzing tools provide a parallel mode to run the multiple instances concurrently. Depending on the implementation, different instances may、uh, either share the same seed queue or、uh, carry the、uh, separate seed queue, but periodically exchange the seeds.、Uh, in the latter case, each instance borrows from other instance all the seeds that bring new code coverage. So this is、um, the gray box of fuzzing and the parallel mode. Um, the idea of sharing the seeds across the instance is actually an、um, intentional design of AF AFL. The goal is to、uh, the goal is that、um, the hard to hit but interesting test cases、uh, can be used by all the instance to get their fuzzing work. However, the intuition suggested that that、um, such a design. Uh, can lead the different instances to mutate the same seeds, which may eventually reduce the effectiveness of the concurrency. Right? To validate this intuition is the motivation of our research.、Um, in our motivation study, we run AFL on four popular benchmark program with two parallel instances for twenty four hours. We trace the mutation process to understand、uh, which seeds are mutated by which instance. So, as shown here,、um, the different instances are indeed mutated overlap seeds, while many other seeds never been mutated. So, consider the result after six hours as an example.、Um, on the average. Nearly twenty percent of the seeds are never being mutated. However, over forty-two percent of the seeds、uh, receive the multiple rounds of the mutations.、Uh, from this、uh, um, experiment, we know that the parallel fuzzing definitely would bring the overlap, right? To verify、um, whether the overlap would Lead to the worst fuzzing efficiency. We conduct another experiment. We randomly collect one thousand seeds、uh, produced in above test from each program and equally split the seeds into group A and group B. First, we run AFL to mutate group A、uh, for multiple runs, and we calculate the increase of the code coverage after each round of the mutation. Here we use the CFG edges 
as the metric of the code coverage, and we consider the edges covered by the original 1,000 seeds as the baseline. Then we repeat the experiment, but replace the same X percent of the group A um, with unmuted seeds from group B in each round. So for example, when we set X to 10, we run the original uh, group A in the first round, but in every following round, we replace a fixed subset of 50 seats with other unmutated ones from group B. Such an experiment enables us to simulate the uh, fuzzing scenarios where a different uh, extent of the overlapped uh, mutation happened. So uh, here's the figure we can see. Uh, it, presents, it, it presents the result of the experiment under different settings. Uh, with all the four programs, we observe a trend that fewer overlaps among the mutated seeds lead to a higher increase of co code coverage. So this demonstrates that running AFL's mutation on different seeds can cover more edges than running the mutation on the same seeds. So it is um, therefore necessary to investigate and develop better solutions for uh, the parallel fuzzing. So at the beginning, we propose a model to describe the parallel fuzzing. The model um, is uh, inclusive of the parallel mode in existing fuzzing tools, and it, it is general enough to apply to other solutions of the parallel fuzzing. It has three properties. The first one is the different instance should work on disjoint subset of the uh, task, tasks. This is to avoid the overlap and increase the extent of the concurrency. The second one is all the instances together should cover all the tasks. Otherwise, the pursuit of the parallel fuzzing can cause the loss of the certain task cases, essentially going to miss the, co uh, the, the code that can be covered by those task cases. The last one, um, the, dif uh, the different task cases should be assigned with a similar workload. Otherwise, the certain instance can receive the underloaded task and end with the plenty of the idle circles, which also harms the concurrency. Then we propose a um, new solution following this model. Our solution follows the workflow uh, in this figure. We can see um, it is periodically uh, distribute the tasks. Um, in each round of the task distribution, we pull the seeds from all instances, partition them into unoverlapped, well, similar weight subset, uh, and finally assign them back to each instance. Um, we consider a, fu a fuzzing task to run a one round of the mutation to a unique seed. We adopt a definition of seed uniqueness that balance between the effectiveness and the conservativeness. Uh, in our solution, to determine the unique the uniqueness of a seed, uh, we consider the edges that uh, their heat count covered by the seed as a criteria. Uh, for example, showing this figure, when seed one and seed two both exist at the same moment of the task uh, of the task distribution, we will consider seed one non-unique since seed two has all the edges of seed one. Now let's talk about how to pick a unique seeds um, while uh, running the task distribution. Uh, in each round of the task distribution, we pull all the seeds from each of the instances and rerun them with dynamic tracing. We gather the edges covered by each instance, we then uh, compute the intersection among the edges from all the instance. We design a greedy algorithm to provide edge coverage based task distribution. We aggregate the edges into a topo uh, sorted CFD. We select the seed that cover the maximum number of the edges remaining on the CFG. It multiple, if multiple uh, seeds satisfy this condition, we will pick the youngest one. 
to better uh, illustrate our distribution algorithm, we can see that um, from this figure. Uh, when we pick a seed f uh, for leaf node 4 to 8, we favor the seed 4 over seed 2. Because seed 4 is more recently generated, um, this prevents the pick of the seed 2 and avoid the overlap. Um, this algorithm involves multiple heuristics, which strive for fewer uh, overlaps and better efficiency. First, we prefer the seed that cover more uh, non-distributed edges. This motivation, um, it's, um, this motivation is um, uh, to quickly consume the distribution space. Uh, the second one is we favor the newer seeds. Uh, the seeds newly generated have a higher chance to cover new edges than the older ones. Um, the third one is we favor the edges that have larger depths on the CFG. This is uh, to reduce the search space when picking the seeds. Uh, because as, uh, uh, as we observed, the deeper, seed, uh, the deeper edges are typically reach, reached by the fewer seeds. Our design needs to periodically rerun the task distribution. However, a low frequency of the redistribution may not timely avoid the accumulated overlaps, while um, a too high frequency can lead to a waste of the resource. Um, in our design, we adjust the scheduling of the task distribution based on the increase of the edge coverage. We start the first round of the distribution after the first hour, and we rerun it once the new edge coverage growth reaches 10%. We have implemented our solution called EFL Edge on top of EFL and LLVM. We created uh, new tools to collect the edge coverage, um, a new scheduling system to distributing the fuzzing tasks. We also uh, customize AFL to confine the fuzzing task on the instance. We prepare a group of nine real-world benchmark program. Details about the program are presented in this table. Uh, we run the vanilla AFL as the baseline of our evaluation. To compare the AFL edge with the existing solutions, we also run PFAS and PAFL on top of AFL. The direct goal of AFL Edge is to reduce the overlap among instances. To measure this goal, um, we consider the number of the seats that uh, are disabled from each instance as a metric. Uh, as shown in this table, our solution can effectively reduce the potential overlaps in the parallel mode. We measure the number of the edges covered in in the tests in the uh, in the tests. In this table, we present the increase of the edges uh, coverage uh, brought by AFL edge to AFL at the end of a um, twenty four hours test. We can see AFL edge can consistently improve the efficiency of the edge coverage of AFL, regardless of the benchmark and the number of the instance. We examine whether the AFL edge and AFL are exploring the different edges. So technically, we measure how many of the edges covered by AFL are also covered by AFL edge. We show the result in this table. Uh, we can see AFL edge covers more than 95% of the edges that are covered by AFL. Considering the randomness, uh, we believe uh, such a result strongly support that AFL edge largely uh, pre preserves the behavior of the vanilla tools and does not significantly affect the fuzzing. Um, to validate our uh, hypothesis that uh, the the frequency of the distribution can be affected by the effectiveness of our solution and demonstrate our dynamic approach. Uh, we perform another experiment where we run one round of the distribution per one hour, per two hours, and per four hours. 
Uh, in this table, it shows that the frequency of the distribution truly makes a difference, and our dynamic adjustment indeed out outperform the uh, solution with a fixed frequency. Uh, we conducted another ex uh, experiment to compare our algorithm with existing uh, seed distillation algorithms. We run this algorithm on 1,000 random seeds from each of our benchmark program and conduct the number of the picked seeds um, and count the number of the picked seeds. As shown in the table, our algorithm reduced uh, more seeds than uh, other existing algorithms in every benchmark program, demonstrating the better effectiveness. Uh, in the course of the evaluation, the fuzzing tools also trigger many crashes, as shown in this table. We can see the AFA edge triggered the 6,792 uh, 6, unique crashes, and the 14 previously unknown bugs uh, outperforming both P, uh, PFAS and the PAFL. Moreover, uh, all the bugs detected by PAFL and the PFAS are also detected by our solution. So, um, in conclusion, this paper focuses on the problem of parallel fuzzing. It presents, uh, it presents a study to understand the limitation of the parallel mode in existing box of fuzzing tools and propose a general model to describe the parallel fuzzing. This model distributes the mutually exclusive but similar weighted task to different instances, uh, facilitating the concurrency and also fairness across the instance. Guided by this model, we present a novel solution to improve the parallel mode in AFL. We have implemented our solution on top of AFL and we have evaluated our evaluation on nine widely used benchmarks. Our evaluation shows that our solution can significantly reduce the overlap and uh, hence accelerate the code coverage. Thank you so much.